Our next guest is a uh, wonderful actor who starred in a film called Prince of the City, also in Hair. His most recent film is entitled Things to Do in Denver When You're Dead. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Treat Williams. I know that man. How you doing? Good. Good to see you. Welcome to the program. Well, thank uh, you. Let's talk a little bit about this film, uh, Things to Do in Denver When You're Dead. Okay. Uh, now, this opened, I guess, in a few cities around the country and now is uh, opening it's everywhere. everywhere. In fact, I think it's playing Bob's Drive-In in Oshkosh. Hey, special. cool. Yeah, a lot of places. But the, the guy you play in this, what's the guy's name? Uh, the Critical character? Bill. Critical Bill. And Critical Bill is disturbed, isn't he? Slightly. Give us a little thumbnail <laughs> sketch of this man. Well, the reason he's called Critical Bill is because any time that uh, anybody disagrees with him, he winds up in critical condition. Uh huh. They wind up in critical condition. That's right. And uh, he also has this penchant for uh, beating up on dead bodies. He works in a uh, funeral home, a mortuary. Works in a funeral so, yeah. Home. And, yeah, and that's how he gets his exercise, <laughs> is that he figures nobody's going to mind, so he just works out on the corpses, and then he, oh, come on, yeah, you got to see it's, it. It's, it's, hey, it's just, it's, it's just it's for cute. fun, for it's heaven's sake. It's cute. Sakes. It's very cute. There, there's an exercise video in this somewhere, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, but man, is that a powerful film, though? That's just really, really scary and ugly and unpleasant. And, yeah, and, uh, yeah, that's why so many people seat. are going to see it. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, I know that uh, two things about you. One, you came from, uh, you, have, you live in Vermont, is that correct? That's right. You have a farm? Yeah, we have a farm. Is it like a big, big deal? Big no, farm? it's a small... Uh, How many acres do you have up there? Fifteen. It's Fifteen acres? acres? It's yeah. like a farmette. Farmette, It's sure. a little farm, and I'm sort of a... Uh, a bad gentleman farmer, mm -hmm. and I pretend to have no animals. You know. No animals, okay. No, no, but we have lots of plants and lots of stuff. You know, we have a, a garden every year, mm -hmm. and we have a fruit orchard. Right. And, uh, Keep grapes. you busy, fun. Yeah. A lot now, of how, fun. how do the other farmers or farmetters in Vermont uh, react to having like a movie star living in their uh, community? Well, I'm not. I'm not important in town. Really? I'm, yeah. There's this. I'm. I'm in town. I'm kind of I'm the guy who goes into the hardware store and orders stuff and says, "Hey, treat. How are you?" But there is a celebrity in town. Who is that? He's big. He's really big. Yeah. Dom DeLuise is Dom in the DeLuise lives in Vermont? Dom DeLuise is in my really? town. So he's the big guy. He's in the pizza parlor. You get the picture up in the pizza parlor. Uh -huh. well, All that the makes different sense. stores. I mean, he so, doesn't need to live in Vermont to have his picture in a pizza parlor. No, you know, just, no but I got to <laughs> tell you, up there, that's a big deal. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, and then, uh, in coming uh, from Vermont to New York City, you, you're a pilot. And that's you, right. you flew your own plane down here. I did. Well, I tell did. us Everybody about that. Can. What kind of plane do you have? It's called a Piper Seneca. It's a twin. Twin engine plane. Twin yeah. engine plane. And we fly it back and forth between Vermont and New York. We also live here, so we split our time about half a day. Yeah, how long have you been flying? 25 years. Wow, how many hours is that? I, I love this. I have about 5,000. 5,000? So th this, you could like get a commercial rating I am 5,000. I am a commercial pilot. No, you're well, not. Well, Mom said I always had something to fall back on. So. Really? So you, Actually, the idea of falling back in aviation is really not a good, no, no, not a not good, good combination. Not a good. But, so uh, you could like fly me to Cincinnati right after the show? Let's go. <laughs> you take care of my luggage and everything? <laughs> everything. Yeah. Well, uh, I, 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 might, I might not do that. I might not do your luggage. Any any uh, close calls in those 5,000 hours? No, but I mean, general aviation is it's a small plane. So like, for instance, last night coming back, mm -hmm. we were at 10,000 feet. We got up to about 10,000 feet, and it was about 30 below. So the trim wheel froze. What is the trim wheel? The trim wheel takes pressure away from the yoke, which is what you're steering with. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it, when I got up to 10,000 feet, the yoke we use a trim wheel to take pressure off so you can fly level. But the trim wheel froze. So I was actually having to fight the yoke for mm -hmm. about an hour all the way down in New York. Also, the windshield fogged over and the defroster didn't work, oh so I couldn't see out. So, so now, th this whole time, are you screaming hysterically? Um. <laughs> yes, Dave, I was. <laughs> I said to my wife, honey, do we have any paper towels? She said yes. We reached back and we had paper towels on the windshield all the no, way so down. So wait a minute, your wife is right there in the other seat with she you? She sits next to me and my son was in the back with the nanny. And, 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 and you weren't scared at all in any of this? Of course not, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was scared. But, uh, you know, I mean, you, you're always, uh, you have to be, have a little degree of fear is a healthy thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, but I knew that once I got down, the trim would unfreeze. So where did you easy. land? Teterboro? Teterboro. Yeah, I landed yeah. at Teterboro. But you know, it'll be the first time I could say I just flew in from Vermont and boy, are my arms tired. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's <laughs> your. Really. <laughs> <laughs> now, in this. Uh, in this uh, late shift movie where they got uh, John Michael Higgins. Uh, and you were great in that movie. Oh, way. stop. No, it. you were terrific. He, is that the guy who used to be on Miami Vice? Is it John Michael Higgins? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Uh, but they got him, like, in red hair. Yes. He's playing me with red hair. That's right. And he spends all his free time throwing baseballs at a target. But in that movie, you play my former agent, Michael Ovitz. That's right. Yeah. Now, he was, when he was an agent, uh, feared, all powerful. People were worried about stepping on this guy's feet because, boom, you know, the next thing you know, you're on a farm in Vermont. Yeah. Oh, no. 
<laughs> wait, wait a minute, you're already on a farm in Vermont, so the hell do you care? Uh, did you have any trepidation about taking on the role? No, no, I didn't. I mean, I, I did streetcar. I was the first guy to do streetcar after Brando did it. So Is that I figured right? after doing that, there was nothing I could do. You're not worried I about it. Yeah. No, I got the farm in Vermont. Yeah. I could always go up and you know, make apple cider. Or, and how, or, how, how did you play uh, Michael Lovitz in this? Did you meet the guy uh, before? Very him? carefully and yeah. with great dignity. Yeah. We <laughs> We, we have a clip here uh, from the, uh, this is the HBO movie, it's uh, from the book The Late Shift, and this is uh, Treat Williams uh, as my former agent, uh, Michael Ovitz. Go ahead, watch this, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Ovitz, can you save my career? Would you like some of my chocolate bunny? <laughs> He's a genius! Oh, yeah. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you. Thank you. of my craft. <laughs> it's I want a to fine you, piece of work. I gained 75 pounds for that. And shaved your head. And I lost six inches. Yeah. No, Ooh, I'm still trying to I like my honeymoon. grow them back. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what that means. You know, in, in all the time that uh, <laughs> we've been on the air, this is the first time you've been with us. That's right. It? Yeah, well, uh, do me a favor. Please, if you can, come back again. It was great fun having you here. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Treat Williams, ladies and gentlemen.